بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين It was narrated uh, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said بني الإسلام على خمس شهادة أن لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله وإقام الصلاة وإيتاء الزكاة وحج البيت وصوم رمضان This very uh, well-known and famous hadith uh, establishes the five pillars of Islam and it states that Islam is built on five foundations and five pillars and let's agree on some uh, basics here uh, the hadith is clarifying the pillars of Islam that there are five pillars on which Islam is built so Islam is neither the pillars nor the structure alone it's both. It's all of it. The Islam is, cannot be Islam without the pillars, cannot be the pillars alone. So it is all. So, but these pillars are the most essential. Without them, we cannot have the building, the structure of Islam. So these five pillars start with Shahadati Allah ilaha illallah, that declaration of faith that states. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. I bear witness there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger and the final prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This, this first and most important pillar is also known as the key of paradise. Why is the key of paradise? Because without it, no one will enter paradise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, <coughs> he stated in the Qur'an that he can, <coughs> he would forgive, or he can forgive anything else except associating partners to him. <coughs> so, that first pillar is the most and utmost important one. <coughs> the next one is the iqamatu salah, establishing the salah or holding the salah consistently and doing it properly. The next one is ita is zakah, is to give charity that in the form of zakah, which is quantified as two and a half percent in general, and it's paid once a year for those who own certain amount of money and they keep it for one whole year. But we cannot also ignore the social aspects of zakah and also salah as well. So, uh, charity and prayers. Charity is given to other members of the society, to the less fortunate, to the people who have less. It's given by those whom Allah has given more. So it will definitely uh, 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 contribute to the structure of the society, which makes it better and more human and more together in this institute of zakah. The third, or the fourth pillar of Islam is Al-Hajj. Or in another narration, it's the fourth is Al-Siyam. Al-Siyam, Siyam means the fasting of the month of Ramadan. That's one whole month of fasting. One special training period is one of the pillars of Islam. And this month of Ramadan, comes towards the end of the year. And we will go, inshallah, in another uh, speech about that special session or special training session, which is called the month of Ramadan or the fasting of the month of Ramadan. And the last pillar of Islam is Al-Hajj, is pilgrimage to Mecca, to go and perform Hajj and visit Al-Kaaba and Al-Masjid Al-Haram and perform the rituals of Al-Hajj. And that's performed once a year. Contrary to the, uh, sorry, once in a lifetime, contrary to the other uh, pillars of Islam. The other pillars of Islam, like zakah every year, salah every day, and uh, uh, fasting uh, once a year. And this is repeated. When we look at these five pillars of Islam, they are the foundations that on which Islamic structure or Islam structure is built and maintained. So if we can compromise any of these pillars, we risk the collapse 
of the whole structure. But let's also remind that the first and most important pillar is the first one which is to believe and to uh, uh, declare the shahada of there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is the key of paradise and the key of success because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in, in another uh, authentic narration he said man qala la ilaha illa Allah dakhla al jannah whoever says la ilaha illa Allah there is no God but Allah will enter paradise eventually will enter paradise even if that person has to pay whatever for his or her sins and or his shortfalls or whatever will end up entering paradise because of la ilaha illallah because he acknowledged the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala maintaining the rest of the uh, pillars of Islam will keep the person on the right path and will keep him under the mercy of Allah and definitely end up getting that abode in paradise with the with the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is what the pillars of Islam you put the pillars and then you put the remaining parts of the structure which comes to your acts in the society in in this life all your behaviors and acts and actions and reactions in this life is the rest of the structure your family relations your social efforts, your human contributions, your own efforts, and so on. All of that constitutes Islam. Your daily life constitutes Islam. Everything else, it's not only the pillars of Islam. So some people will say, well, I only do the pillars and I'm, uh, there's nothing else related to Islam. No, your daily transactions are bound by Islam. Your trade, your buy and sell, your behavior, is bound by the guidelines of Islam. That, that's why when Muslim says Islam is a way of life. Islam tells me what to do and how to do things. Uh, and puts me on the right path, on the right, on the straight path, and makes me a better citizen, a better human being. And that's how important these pillars are and how effective they are in making good people in this world May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the straight path. Ameen ya rabbal alameen. Wa salli allahumma wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.